<laughs> you summoned me? Oh, don't look so surprised, darling. See that book you're holding? What do you mean you thought it was a cookbook? I swear, humans get sillier by the day. Anyway, hi. And while I'm here, my name's Crow. I'm a succubus. Why do you look so uncomfortable? I mean, I know I'm attractive and I make people nervous, but that's a look that's less than welcoming. No, no, darling, don't be nervous. I won't bite unless you ask nicely. <laughs> oh. Oh, well, that's a problem. No, 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 you being asexual is not the problem. Lovely, I don't ever want you to think that's a problem. Just, you know how succubi work, right? Yeah, and um, we may be in a pickle, because I don't have enough energy to bamf myself back to the infernal plane. Well, it doesn't have to be sexual energy, but that fills us up the fastest, so, you know. Oh, well, there's a bunch, a bunch of energies that we can sap from. There's joy, there's sadness, there's lust. <laughs> there is anger. You have a very expressive face. You are your emotions playing on your face for all to see. Do you know that? Well, it's good that you know, at least. Well, I suppose I could feed off of another emotion. And because I'm nice, I'm going to let you pick which one. Joy. Hmm. Okay. Part of me had hoped for something else, but it doesn't matter. So how do you plan to go about this, sweetling? A board game. You want to play a board game with me? Well, I've been asked to do weirder. What are we playing then? Absolutely not. I am willing to be very lenient. I am not playing Monopoly. I have standards, lovely. Also, don't you need like at least four people to play that game? <sighs> Whatever. But what else do you have? Hmm. Oh, it appears we're at an impasse. <sighs> do you play video games? Well, I'm suggesting, because that is also an option, and it's a game, and you like to play games, apparently. Minecraft? That sounds nice. I could watch while you play, and you can show me your world and gush all about it. I know you humans like doing that. Listen, it's not because I'm from a different plane that I'm completely oblivious. Besides, there was this one time with this absolute nerd who was apparently a YouTuber of some sorts so really into Minecraft. So, you know, I have to know what I'm talking about to get what I need. Hmm. Right. Now, I shall sit down and you show me. Yes, yes now I want to get out of here, okay? It's not you, it's me. I would go into the whole world building of it all, but your plane and my body don't agree half of the time. We only come here to feed, so I don't want to draw this out too long or I'm gonna just have a massive hangover and I don't like that. I get very cranky when I'm hungover or have a migraine or a headache or whatever. You know what I mean. Thank you. Okay, right. Go ahead and show me. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
how long? Hmm, quite impressive. And... Did you build that by yourself? Well... Everyone has their hobbies that take a long time. I... No, you don't need to know that. I have an image to upkeep. You don't need to know that I crochet for fun. Oh. You didn't hear that. Thank you. Oh, wow, it has three stories, even. Is that a cat? Oh, what a cutie. I love cats. Mm. A lot. <laughs> what can I say? I like pussy. <laughs> yes, I can make jokes, surprisingly enough. What's that? Oh, you can do that? In the short time that I've devoted to Minecraft, Redstone has always eluded me. Yeah, I cannot make sense of it. Thank God I need to be pretty not smart. Well, that's not entirely true, but uh, whatever. Yes, I know that I'm rather sarcastic. I think it's endearing. Mm, I'll grow on you. Like mold on a ro Excuse you! Yeah, you're forgiven. Anyway. <sighs> We're not gonna get very far if we keep bickering. I'm sorry, I'll keep my mouth shut. Also, if you feel a tingle, that is me feeding. It should feel pleasant, like sinking into a warm bath, but it can be a little startling to those who don't expect it. Now, why don't you show me your farms? And I'll try and tone down the sarcasm. You're welcome. <clears throat> You're welcome. Okay, it's right. And you j they just brought. That seems inhumane. I, I know it's a video game, but. Okay, and so why are those hoppers? It all gets slid into your storage. That is ingenious. Yes, that is a genuine compliment. I also will say that now that I have some food in me. Your joy is rather tasty. Infectious. A little bit. I will say I'm, I'm very impressed with your exploits in Minecraft. Listen, the sarcasm is not coming off. I thought we established this like half an hour ago. <laughs> but all of that aside, I do appreciate you trying to help me. I know that you summoning me was an accident, that you're trying to make it right, but accidents happen. They're human, I suppose. I said it before, but there's nothing wrong with not feeling sexual urges. I've had this happen once before, you know? Yeah. Was this lady in her late 50s found the book summoned me she was lonely never married never had children but she craved some affection so i indulged we talked she made me dinner even though i couldn't get much sustenance from it it still tasted really nice i held her hand and later we cuddled. Told me a lot about regrets she had, about how she wished she was fixed. In truth, I saw nothing wrong with her. She just simply didn't enjoy. You know. 
Or didn't have those urges, rather. She said she tried when she was younger, but it just did nothing for her, which, you know, first you can think it's the wrong person, then you think there's something wrong with you, and eventually she just gave up. And as we laid there, she told me that she regretted never trying to find a person who would accept her as she was. My heart broke for her. So I don't want you to have those same regrets, dear. I know we only just met today, and that I may not have been the nicest to you, but... I don't want you to give up on things just because of this one part of you. From what I've gotten to know about you, you have your passion. And you have nothing but patience and drive looking at those massive builds in your Minecraft world. So cherish that. Own that. And do not settle, you hear me? You're nice. And that means a lot coming from me. So God forbid if it ever reaches me on the infernal plane that you settle. I'm going to force myself to poof into your bedroom and I'm going to yell at you. And I'm very good at giving tongue lashings. I have to, it's part of the job. Now, I do think that I should have enough energy to poof myself back to the infernal plane. I give you one free pass to summon me again. Because I didn't hate hanging out with you. And I would like to see what else you do on your video game. And what was that other one you mentioned? Baldur's... Yes, that one. Love to see about that one. But good things. Of course I know about it. To some degree. It's not every day that the infernal plane gets its moment to shine in the material plane. Now, it was nice meeting you, but I fear I must go. See you again. Ta-ta.